Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the basic operations of your Horizon 24 centrifuge. If you're looking for something specific, look at the bottom of your screen. This video is divided into chapters, so you can easily find what you need. Horizon 24 Basic Operations Guide. Part 1, Unboxing the Horizon 24. To open your centrifuge box, you want a pair of scissors to easily remove the packaging. With your box open, you can slide the centrifuge out. Your centrifuge will come with an accessories kit. And we'll cover this in detail later. Once you're done unpacking, you should have all of these items. Part 2. Setting up the Horizon 24. Let's start by making sure we have all our necessary accessories. These came out of your accessory kit, the bag packed in with your centrifuge. You'll need your power cord, your tube holders, your quick start guide, and your centrifuge. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Start by placing the centrifuge on a flat, level, sturdy surface. Leave at least 6 inches or 15 cm of space on all sides and at least 21 inches or 54 cm of height above the lid so you can easily open it. Locate the power cord that was included in the accessories kit when you unpacked your Horizon 24. Plug it into the back of your centrifuge and then into the wall. Make sure your outlet is easily accessible so you can unplug your centrifuge for cleaning and maintenance. Locate the power switch on the back of your Horizon 24. Flip this switch to the on position. With the Horizon 24 plugged in and switched on, its lid lights will flash and the first cycle light will illuminate. Now we're ready to unlock our centrifuge. Your Horizon 24 has a safety lock. The centrifuge will lock whenever the rotor is spinning, 60 seconds after a cycle has finished, and it will be locked when your centrifuge arrives from our factory. To unlock your centrifuge, we'll need to look at our control panel. To unlock the centrifuge, press the Stop Unlock button. If you'd like a more in-depth overview of these controls, a link to a full overview video is on your screen now. With that done, we can twist our lid latch and lift the lid open. You can see our rotor here inside. Your Horizon 24 comes with its rotor installed and ready to run. All we need to do is place our tube holders. You can see the slots all around the rotor. Simply place one tube holder in each. When the tube holders are properly seated, you will be able to move them slightly. And this is by design. That's what allows them to rise into their horizontal spin position. They do not click or snap into place. Your Horizon 24 arrives with all authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage your centrifuge or even be dangerous. Now that we have our Horizon 24 set up, we can look at our controls. Part 3, Controls Overview. Your Horizon 24 has all of its controls right here on the front panel. These three indicators show which of your cycles is currently selected. Your Horizon 24 spins three different cycles. By default, these are cycle 1, 10 minutes at 3300 RPM, which is 1800 XG, cycle 2, 15 minutes at 3000 RPM, which is 1500 XG, and cycle 3, 5 minutes at 1700 RPM, which is 500 XG. Any of these can be customized to fit your lab's preferred IFU. Links to the video for that are on your screen now. To check which of these cycles is selected for spin, look at the number under the illuminated LED. If the first LED is illuminated, your centrifuge will spin cycle 1. If the second is illuminated, cycle 2 will spin. And if the third is illuminated, cycle 3 will spin. To switch between cycles, press Stop Unlock once to unlock the centrifuge and then open the lid. With the lid open, Stop Unlock will allow you to switch between cycles. Your Horizon 24 is equipped with a safety lid lock system that automatically engages between spins. Pressing Stop Unlock will unlock this, allowing you to open the lid latch and access the rotor chamber 
and allowing you to select between the different cycles. If the centrifuge is running, pressing the Stop Unlock button will stop it mid-spin. The centrifuge will immediately slow down, and once it comes to a full stop, it will automatically unlock, allowing you to open the lid latch. The Start button starts the centrifuge. When you press Start, the Horizon 24 will begin to run the currently selected cycle. And those are your controls. Now let's look at how to load your Horizon 24 and spin your first samples. Part 4, Spinning Samples. Your Horizon 24 is set up and now we're ready for our first spin. Before we can spin a cycle, we need to make sure that the centrifuge is correctly loaded. That means the samples it will spin are balanced. Like any centrifuge, the Horizon 24 should always be run with a balanced load. That helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan for your centrifuge. First, make sure that all six tube holders are properly seated in the Horizon 24 rotor. They do not snap in place, but should be seated one per slot in the rotor. Next, we need to balance the tubes around our centrifuge rotor. Balancing happens in two different dimensions. The tube holders must be balanced around the rotor, and the tubes need to be balanced within each tube holder. Let's start by balancing around the rotor and then adjust placement within each tube holder as needed. To be balanced around the rotor, each tube holder must hold a tube or tubes of the equivalent size and volume as the tube or tubes loaded in the holder across from it. So if I've got four 10 ml tubes over here, I need four 10 ml tubes over here as well. If you've got an uneven number of tubes, don't worry. We'll explain what to do about that in the next step. With this tube loading guidance in mind, start distributing your tubes into the tube holders. You can use two, three, four, or six tube holders, depending on how many tubes you are spinning. Just remember to make sure that the tube holders are carrying equivalent weights. Once you've got that equivalent loading, Follow the diagram on your screen to balance the equally weighted tube holders around the rotor. Red indicates an equivalently filled tube holder. Now, what happens if you're running different tube sizes, say 4 ml and 10 ml volume tubes? You can absolutely run them in the same spin. Just make sure to follow the equivalent size and fill volume rule. If you've got two 4 ml and two 10 ml in one tube holder, you'll need two 4 ml and two 10 ml in the other matching tube holder. Alternatively, you could load these tubes into four tube holders instead of two. For that, you'd place two 4 ml across from the other two 4 ml and two 10 ml across from the other two 10 ml. Once you've got your tube holders placed, it's time to balance the tubes within these holders. For this part, you'll want to think of each tube holder and the one across the rotor from it as a pair. If you've got three tube holders loaded, we'll talk about that in a minute. So this tube holder pairs up with this one across from it, and this one with that, and so on. The tube loading within this pair must be balanced. If you have one, two, or three tubes loaded, refer to the diagram on your screen for the appropriate loading. If you've got four tubes loaded, you're all set. If you've got three tube holders in place, you'll need to either have two tubes or four tubes in each. There's no way to get symmetry with one tube or three tubes. You can redistribute your tubes into a fourth bucket, or you can use a counterbalance tube or two or three to hit that two or four per bucket fill. If you don't have enough tubes to balance your centrifuge, you'll need to create a stand-in to fill the gap. We call this a counterbalance tube. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water as the blood tube or tubes that it will match. If the volumes are equivalent, the weights should be two and you'll get the balance you want. Use your filled counterbalance like a regular tube to get your balance. With your tube holders in place and your samples loaded and balanced, you're ready to spin. With the lid open, use the Stop Unlock button to select your cycle. 
In our case, we're going to run cycle 1. This cycle has a factory default of 10 minutes at 3300 RPM, which is 1800 XG. The other default presets are listed on your screen now for easy reference. Keep in mind, these can be customized to your lab's preferred spins if desired, but this is what will be programmed into the Horizon 24 when it arrives from the factory. With your desired cycle selected, close the lid. Secure the lid latch by pressing it down gently and turning it a quarter turn clockwise. Press the start button. The centrifuge will automatically lock and the rotor will begin to spin, accelerating until it reaches the cycle's programmed RPM. It will then run for the cycle's programmed time. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the rotor brake. When the rotor is fully stopped, the centrifuge will beep and the lid lights will flash to let you know it's done. The centrifuge will automatically unlock. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and then lift the lid to retrieve your spun samples. And that's all there is to it. You just ran your first cycle. Now let's look at how to clean and maintain your Horizon 24. Part 5, Cleaning and Maintaining. Your Horizon 24 requires no regular maintenance. Cleaning is easy too. Start by turning your Horizon 24 off. Then unplug it from the wall. Your centrifuge should always be off and unplugged before you do any kind of cleaning. Make sure to wear appropriate PPE in accordance with your lab's policies. Use isopropyl alcohol or 10% 5500 ppm bleach solution to clean. Only the approved isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution should be used. Any other substance is not approved and may cause damage to your centrifuge and void the warranty. Apply your isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution with a cloth. Do not submerge the centrifuge in water. Dry your Horizon 24 immediately after finishing cleaning and disinfecting and be sure it's plugged in and turned on so it's ready for the next use. Your Horizon 24 does not require any regular maintenance, but you may wish to confirm the spin speed. To do that, you'll need a photo tachometer like the one shown here. Your rotor has a reflective strip on it so the photo tachometer can easily detect the speed. Just start the cycle you wish to test, wait a minute or two for it to reach its peak speed, and point your photo tachometer down through the clear part of the lid. You'll quickly get a reading. And that brings us to the end of our basic operations guide for the Horizon 24. We unboxed and set up our centrifuge. We reviewed its accessories and controls. We also learned how to spin our first cycle and how to clean and maintain the centrifuge. If you have any other questions about your Horizon 24, you can always contact Drucker Diagnostics and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.